Hey guys, Sean here. In this video, we're going to show you how to make three different circle effects. So these three are very different. First one, of course, is just a normal circle. Second one is a bit warp and more like a like somebody's blowing smoke. And the third one is almost like water effect. And we are going to make a black video first. We go to our project bin and we hit the new item icon and then choose black video and then press OK drag the black video onto the timeline here and we're going to the start of the black video arrow down and then hold down arrow with shift and uh, arrow to the right three times one two three and now we're gonna cut this black video with command or control K and we're gonna delete what's behind it so we have this 15 frame uh, black video clip. Now we are going to drag some effects on here. So go to the effects tab, type in circle. CRC. So you have to generate a circle, drag this onto the black video, go to effects control and we're going to directly type in some things. So for radius, I want to have 500. And for the edge, I want to change this to thickness and radius and change the thickness to 50. And we're going to hit the stopwatch on both of them. So we have two keyframes here. So the 500 one, we're going to drag to the end. And the 50 one, we're going to drag to the front. And now we're going to change both of them to zero and move the keyframes to the opposite. So from the radius to the front and the thickness to the end. And these two keyframes, we're gonna select both of them, right mouse click and change to Bezier. So now when we play this, we have this circular highlighter. So you can like highlight a certain point with this, like maybe like uh, if you have like something you purposely want to show, you can do this. And now we're going to make the second one. We go to FX again. We're going to grab a turbulent display. So we type in turb, which is enough. And then drag that onto the black video. Now when we directly play it, we have that effect. So that's a smoke ring effect. So that is the second circle. And now to the third circle. So we're going to change some of the parameters here. We're going to change the amount to uh, 150. We're going to change the size to 40. And we're going to change the complexity to 10. So now when we play this, we have well, this going on, which is a burning effect. So it's not quite there yet compared to what we want. So what we want is now actually also add some evolution. So here we're going to hit the keyframe here to add a keyframe, move this all the way to the front and we're going to change the evolution to 5x, which means it does a full five rotation of the evolution and move this keyframe all the way to the end. So now if we play that, we see like a lot of movement. So, so we're not quite there yet at the water, but still, if this is an interesting effect you want that you can use now. So what we're now going to do is select the turbulent displays and control C and control V it. So we have a copy of it. Now what we're going to change on the second turbulence is we're going to change the displacement to twist. The rest of the parameters we keep the same. So now if we play this, we get that water effect. And we will also want to change these two keyframes, change it to Bezier also. So now when we play the effect, we get this. It looks like water like a water explosion, like a water balloon exploding or something like that. And yeah, it totally depends on your needs. So three different oval or circle effects in one video. Hope you guys found this 
quick tutorial, quite interesting. If you have any requests, please comment below and hope you guys found this a very useful video to watch. And uh, if you really liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button here below. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all and see you out.